Patrick Vallée crosses the Atlantic for the first time of his career as he makes his North American debut tonight. Of Brazilian origin, the man known as Dexter has had success all over Europe and is now ready for the biggest challenge of his young career. Vallée is known for being a well-prepared athlete who is just as comfortable on the feet as on the ground, making him a difficult puzzle to solve for his opponent. The electricity will definitely be in the air in this fight. Get ready for the Clash of the Titans. It is a veritable fighting machine that fans will see make his Canadian debut tonight in American Brandon Thatch. Described as the next George St. Pierre by the president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Thatch has scored all five of his career victories in the first round. Stéphane Patry's latest find will undoubtedly want to show off his skills for his new fan base. Fast and furious, Ruckus is an explosive fighter who is thinking knockout with every strike and aims to quickly become a fan favorite with his unique style. Let's go to war! We are getting set for a 170-pound encounter. It is our co-feature of the evening. Patrick Valet set to make his way to the instinct cage. This kid is entertaining. Since losing to UFC veteran and jiu-jitsu fighter David Bilkadin, he has remained almost perfect. Undefeated since that blemish. If you had this kid can do it all. One shot. Great striking, One good submissions, good wrestling, and above all, a killer instinct. Yeah, it's his first time coming overseas fighting here. He's done most of his fighting in Europe. Um, I believe he's, he's living in France now, born in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, so he does have a, a decent ground game, uh, but he's definitely a striker at heart. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what he puts together tonight against a very tough person who are calling the next George St. Pierre. I mean, those are big words. Exactly. And Brandon Thatch knows what type of fighter he's facing tonight. He will have to be on his A game. Yeah, this is going to be a lightning back game um, fight. These are the reasons why the fight fans come out. Stefan Patry, like I said in the past, has been a great uh, putting together styles that match up really well and putting on exciting fights. Some are shorter than others, some are longer than others. That's what happens in mixed martial arts, my friend. But at the end of the day, Man, just outstanding, outstanding. And that's what makes Instinct MMA so, like, distinguish itself from the other events in Canada and really puts itself as a premier event because matchups like we're about to see are nowhere else to be found in Canada. Patrick Valet training with Bellator veteran Carl Amasu. And you talk about the striking of some of those fighters in Europe and I'm sure we'll see it on display tonight. Guaranteed. This really could steal fight of the night, and it's that's a tall order considering what we've seen tonight. Yeah, I mean, just the last fight alone was just outstanding. I mean, uh, you know, like coming in tonight with a 7-1, 7-1-1, Victory, you know, training on uh, Team Haute Tension out of uh, out of France. I mean, this guy is going to be electrifying to watch. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I mean, being a ground guy, um, I still love to see the striking game because if you look at the team that he has uh, behind him, it's really, really incredible. Of course, also trains with uh, former WEC veteran Bendy Casimir. These guys know how to succeed. Definitely as well as UFC veteran David Barron. In Valet's way of a victory is the American Brandon Thatch. We're coming down the ramp now. A showman born in Denver, Colorado, training at the, the Grudge Training Center. For the likes of Shane Carwin, Brendan Schaub, Dwayne Bang Ludwig, all call home. You know, he's coming with a 5-1 victory. Four of his five victories 
from, you know, TKO. So this guy is a fight stopper. And in his corner, you see the head of the Grudge Training Center, Trevor Whitman, who has been instrumental in the su success of many fighters competing for the UFC. And now he has an opportunity to keep his winning streak alive, make it five in a row. His only loss, a split decision in 2008. He is more than happy to take this fight wherever it needs to go. Hey, you gotta understand his loss. I mean, he did fight in Strike Force, the Playboy Mansion, too, right? Exactly. So, distractions galore. <laughs> But then, in, then again, Instinct has done a great job with their own distraction. Some of the most beautiful women and ring girls really in MMA today. I didn't notice. Yeah. I thought you were looking at me a little funny. This combat was presented by El Jamalji Poker Room. Tournoi tous les jours, two fois par jour. The next bout of the evening is in the Instinct Welterweight Division. This bout is proudly brought to you by El Jamalji Poker Room. Tournaments every day, twice a day. This combat is prévu for three rounds de cinq minutes. This bout is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes. L'arbitre, the referee, Marc André Côté. Tout d'abord, dans le coin bleu, portrait de la clotte noire et blanche et pesant 169,6 livres. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white trims and weighing in in 169,6 pounds. Il a une fiche professionnelle de 7 victoires, donc 3 par KO et 3 par soumission et un combat nul en 9 combats. His professional record shows 7 wins. Including three by way of knockout, three by submission, and one draw in nine bouts. De Paris, en France, from Paris, France, this is Dexter Patrick Valley. Son adversaire dans le coin rouge, portant la fleur noire et camouflage et pesant 170 livres, point 2. Across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with camo trims and weighing in in 170.2 pounds. Il a une fiche professionnelle de 5 victoires, dont 4 par KO et une par soumission en 6 combats. His professional record shows 5 wins, including 4 by way of knockout and one by submission in six bouts the Denver oh Colorado from Denver Colorado USA this is Ruckus Brandon Patch. We take a look at the tail of the tape. Valet, 31 years of age, six foot one, weighed in at 169.6 pounds with a reach of 76 inches. His opponent, 26 years of age, six foot two, 170.2 pounds with a reach of 72 inches. Valet will enjoy a four inch reach advantage. Do not blink because this fight could end in a flash. Both fighters touch gloves. This is going to be exciting. Yeah, I'm Both not gonna talk in this one. You're on your own. Both guys very aggressive and just like that. Thatch lands a huge shot. And Valet is out unconscious less than 15 seconds into the first round. Just as advertised, Brandon Thatch gets it done in sensational four. Like I told you, I'm not going to say a thing in this fight. I didn't have to. 15 seconds or 16 seconds, whatever that was. Wow. Wow. You know what? I don't think George St. Pierre's ever finished the fight that fast. And Valet is up. And he waves to the crowd. He says he's all right. Obviously disappointed, but that's what happens. Yeah, when you have 15 hours of flying for uh, 15 seconds of fighting, of course you're going to be disappointed, yeah. right? Here we see the replay. Both fighters very aggressive. 
Nice uppercut. I don't think he grazed him, but he tried to take him down because he felt great, and then that was it. Valet just ate a bunch of punches, and that was it. He was out. Referee stepped in, stopped the bout. Batch. Wow. Proves his record to six and one. A sensational performance for the highly touted Brandon Thatch. Great show of sportsmanship from uh, both fighters. Is he the future? He might just be. Well, when you got guys like, uh, when you got guys like uh, Rory McDonald standing your way, when Rory gets back from his injury, yeah. I mean, but hey, there's competition out there. The it's good to know there's not winner only just by knockout. After 15 seconds in this bout, Le Gaillard par KO. Après 15 secondes dans ce combat, Ruckus Brandon Hatch. A couple of boos from the crowd, but you know what? We have a new star here in Instinct MMA. Yeah, I mean, that was in, that was outstanding. Uh, I'd love we to are see here with both the winner, of these Brandon fighters Thatch. back here to actually show uh, what they Brandon, can actually bring to the table. this was labeled as the battle of the blue chip prospects, and my friend, you more than delivered. I love chips. I love them. <laughs> you don't look like you eat too many of them, though. Uh, that was a record for you, 15 seconds. You're known as a, now that's five knockouts for you in the first minute. Can anyone stop you? I mean, I'm sure I'll get my day, but until then, I'm going to keep doing what I do. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I had a blast out here. Everyone's beautiful. The city's beautiful. This is a wonderful organization. I'm just uh, uh, proud and honored to be here. You guys are all wonderful. Thank you. Well, sir, it is an honor for us to have you. We're going to be seeing you again very, very soon. Thank you, sir. I just want to say thank you to my sponsor, Guy from Inked Out, Kevin with Where's the Party app, app for your smartphone, Cindy, uh, uh, Grudge Training Center, Sven with Ring of Fire, and of course, everybody from Canada. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm sure Ma Clarence Thatch, I love you. Without you, Dad, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. You are a superstar in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, votre gagnant, your winner, Brandon Thatch. Brandon Thatch definitely knows how to put on a show. Wow. <laughs> that has got to be knockout of the night. Wow. I mean, we've had a couple of great knockouts tonight. We've had a couple of short fights. We've had some go the distance uh, that were.